Hey there, it's Kay, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be going over my first paycheck of July. So I got my sticker book here. And I'm just going to mark the payday right here. So I'm going to be doing this paycheck a little differently than I have been. Um, I had been weekly budgeting and I'm going to start working my way back towards the bi-weekly budget because I got called back to work. Yay! So we have both week one and week two are going to be both covered by this paycheck. So week one will be 7 one to 7 six. And week two is the 7th to the 13th. So I am still going to be tracking my no spends. Although I do think I won't be having that many no spends since my job is a travel job and I'll have to be spending money on like food and gas. But I will still add my no spends. And I'm still funding my savings account. Um, Come on, little pig. I'm still funding my savings account. Um, gonna get back to the swing of things at work and see how stable the economy looks and if I'll get to keep my job since the Rona is coming back. Um, if things look like they're gonna stay static, then I will probably dive into my savings account and make a nice big debt payment on something, but let's look at bills due. I got some credit cards due. Everyone's favorite Best Buy card. And then a credit union card. Let's see what else. Um, my Adobe and then Samsung Cloud I think is the ninth and then my phone bill I'm also going to be paying that's on the 10th And I also have to top up my easy pass. I have to top up my easy pass before I drive to my field location. So, you know, I'm just going to put that right under there and we'll take care of that. This is Sprint, this is Samsung Cloud, and then over here is my credit union card, and this is Adobe. All right, that looks like everything. I'm so totally out of the swing of things for uh, like bi-weekly budgeting or putting like a whole spread for a lot of bills at once. All right, so let's zoom into paycheck number one here. And income, I still got the unemployment, 865. And then I also have rollover money from my cash envelopes from June, and that's 
207 dollars is 207 dollars so 20 40 60 80 100 120 140 160 170 180 190 191 192 193 194 195 196 197 198 199 100 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 207 so I'm going to set this to the side and we got a lot of bills to pay so we have the Best Buy Visa card which is due on the 4th and the minimum payment this month is 30 and then my credit union card which is due the day after on the 5th. The minimum payment is 75 and then I have my Adobe which usually goes on the 7th for $23 auto payment and then my Samsung Cloud which processes on the 8th or the 9th and I think because the holiday it'll probably go to the 9th um, and that's just for a dollar. And then my phone bill was Sprint, comes out on the 10th, and that's for $36. And then I'm going to put it in here, my Easy Pass. It's not really like a bill bill, but I can't pay cash with it, so it's not going to go on this side. Um, we're just going to put it for the first because it's whatever I'm gonna put $20 in it all right so it's 30 plus 75 plus 23 plus 1 plus 36 plus 20 and we're looking at 185 and I didn't add up these yet 207 is 1072 So 1072 subtract 185 is 887. These little boxes are really hard to write in. <laughs> I'm a really big writer, so uh, we have the 887. We're going to pull over two envelopes. Um, first things first is going to be gas. Um, because I'm traveling for work, I'm gonna I'm gonna do forty. Um, I think it'll be safe to do forty. Next is gonna be eating out, and it's gonna seem really high, but I'm gonna put fifty in there. And again, that's because I'm not gonna be home. I'm gonna be in a hotel room. I'm really not gonna have like options to cook. So. We're gonna put 50 in there. I think that's gonna be good. Uh, and then groceries. Um, I wanna get rid of that seven. So we'll do 37 just to pick up a couple things here and there for like snacks that I can bring with me and stuff. And then allowance. I'm going to do 20. Again, that's like one of my goals is to curb down my personal spending. So 20 it is. Just 20. Um, next is going to be my pet envelope. And that's going to get 20 as well. And I don't have enough lines here for my two sinking funds. So what I'll do is I'll put the vet fund up here um, because I've been rolling all the money into my pet envelope but I'm gonna restart my vet seeking fund um, that's where a lot of this rollover came from was that rollover into the pet envelope but I'm just gonna stick it into the vet and that's gonna be $100 to jumpstart that so let's see 87 minus 40 minus 50 Minus 37, my, oh, 
minus 20, minus 20, minus 100. So we're going to have 620 left over, 87 minus 620. There's 267 for envelopes. So let's pull over that 620. Um, like I outlined at the end of my June debt summary, I'm going to be making some payments to my Best Buy card. And I do have a reason for jumping around on my debts. If you want to check out the video, it'll explain it a lot more in detail. Um, but let's come back to this because don't want to leave out my savings account and my moving fund. Those are more important to me right now. Uh, savings account, I want to do 200 like I've been planning. And then my moving fund, let's do 160. So that'll be, we have 620 minus 360. And then I'll do 260 on the Best Buy card. So then that leaves us with uh, 360 and then 360 and that's 360 and then that zeroes out the budget. So I'm gonna go pull out the cash for my envelopes and my saving, uh, my moving fund and I'll be right back. All right, so here's the 207 that I had left over from my cash envelopes from June, and then I just went to the ATM and I took out 220 is what I needed. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. So let's break up the denominations, 20s, 10s, and 1s. Alright, so eating out is going to get 50. Yeah, 20, 40, 50. Sharice is going to get 37, so we'll do 20, 30, 40, 50, 6, 7, 30, all right. Pet is just gonna get 20. And then allowance is gonna get 20. Gas is gonna get 40. Um, I think I wanna put the 10 in there somehow. I don't think I can. Yeah, um, let me see how many ones I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, you know what? I'll do that for that. So 20, 30, 40. And then that leaves me with 20s for my funds. So this is how I've stored my sinking funds in the past. Um, I have medical in here because I want to jumpstart my medical probably next month. Right now we're only going to be feeling moving and vet. So vet fund needs 100, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's going to be 100. 
and then this should be 160. So two, four, six, eight. Oh, they're all stuck. Let's see, that's 10, 12, 14, 16. So that was it. That was my first paycheck of July with a nice hefty cash stuffing. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, tell me your favorite part, and be sure to subscribe to continue watching my journey. Thank you guys so, so much, and I hope you have a good day or night wherever you are. Bye!